Hello and welcome back to Altairs for Dummies. In the last few episodes, I've we've studied how to transmit letters up through the serial port to your monitor or your terminal using uh, the transmit port on your serial card. In this episode, we're going to start using the the receive port to receive information from our keyboard and then we'll echo it right back out to the screen. So I also want to go through how to initiate your uh, serial card using the control register. So this will be like one of the last times that you see me actually using the front panel to uh, program this computer. So let's get started. Let's see, let me get this out. Okay, let's turn on the machine, do a hard reset, and examine. And now we're going to start programming. Again, we're going to be programming in hex, so that's why we have our little tape pieces here. The first uh, command is a 3E. Pause it that. Then just a 3. Pause it next. A D3. Pause it next. A one zero, next. a three E, the next a one one, a D three, or the next a one zero, a D B. One zero, go to the next, a D six, go to the next, a one, next, a C K, go the next, an eight, O eight, next. Zero zero, the part of next. A D D part of next. A one one part of next. A D three part of next. A one one part of next. A C three part of next. And a zero eight. The next thing, zero, zero. All right, that's the whole program, including initializing our serial board. So let's go back to zero and examine. We have a three E, a zero three, a D three, a one zero, a three E, a one one, a D three, a one zero. A D B a one zero a E six a zero one a C A a eight zero eight zero zero D B a one one a D three a one one a C three a zero eight and a zero zero, and that looks good. So let's examine and get ready to run. Okay, let's hit run and see what happens. And let's start typing. Okay, it worked. We're now inputting data from the keyboard and it's echoing it back out to the terminal through the transmit port. Okay, now let's go see how this is accomplished and see what else we can do. Okay, let's take a look at the code that we just entered. The first part of the code is used to simply initialize the serial 
I.O. card. And we had to do this because we used the front panel of the program and we didn't boot to a ROM. The second portion is the actual program that you know checks the uh, to see if the receive is ready and then receive the actual data and then output it out to the terminal. So let's walk through each step and see what each step does here. To start off with initializing the serial card, the first thing you have to do is a master reset. So I moved the three into the A register and then outputted that on the control register at one zero. If you can look down here, this is the actual control byte and bits zero and one are used for the clock divide and the reset. A one one or a binary one one decimal three is a master reset. So we output that onto the control register and we've reset the serial I.O. board. The next is to set up the uh, actual you know data bits, the stop bits, the parity, and the divide by clock. So we moved a one one into the A register, which is a one zero zero and a zero one. And we output that to control register. Again, a one zero zero is eight bits, two stop bits and no parity, and a divide by sixteen on the clock function. And that's all it takes to initialize your serial I.O. card. Now we get into the actual program. Now up to now, we've always used the transmit data register to transmit things up to the uh, terminal. Now we're going to start receiving data on the receive data register. So the first command here is an input on I.O. address 1.0. And that's the status register. So we're bringing in status byte and comparing that to a one zero. Again, you have to know your what your status byte looks like on your serial card. A one zero is right here, and it checks the receive data register full. If it is full, it goes back and it keeps repeating. If it's not, we go ahead and input the information from our keyboard into the receive data register here at address one one hex. Then we simply output that at the transmit data register and we jump back and we just continue to do the same thing. So this is a very simple program that allows us to input data from our keyboard and send that data right back out or echo it out to the terminal. So I hope you learned something from this. Let's move on to the next program here. This is basically the same program except we're not initializing this serial I.O. card because we're just going to enter this using the uh, the ROM chip on our serial card. But in this one we basically we're doing the same thing. We're just going to store that information that is inputted down here at addresses 40 through however many things that we type. So let's take a look at this program real quick. The first thing we do is we load the register pair HL with the address that we want to start using, which is 40. Again, this is the same code we just used. We check the status byte. We check to see if the RX is ready. Once it's ready, we'll receive the uh, user's input and we'll move that to our HL register. Then we output that to the terminal, we increment the HL register, and we jump back here to 3 and see if uh, there's any more data to be received. And then we'll receive it again, move it into the next position, output it to the terminal. Okay, let's go load this program and see how that works. Remember, we'll be checking 40 through whatever to see what we have inputted into our computer. Okay, let's go ahead and fire up our Altair, do a hard reset. I'm going to set my uh, dip switches up to F8 and do an examine. And then, oh, let me go ahead and clear this screen here. And then do a run to 
bring up our ROM. I'm going to go ahead and start entering our program at zero. That's it. That's the whole code right there. So let's execute it and see if it works. Okay, we can see that we are able to input and echo the data. Now let's see if we actually stored the data at 40 and above that. So I'm going to do a stop, a reset, and examine and reload my ROM, and du at 40, and let's just do 10. Now you can see over at the right hand side where it says hello world, the data actually is stored in uh, ASCII format. So obviously an H is a, a hexadecimal 48 and so on and so on. 45, 4C, 4C is our hello world. Okay, the program worked. Hopefully we all learned something from this and thank you for watching.